The Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro have arrived, bringing more AI smarts and camera improvements to Google's flagship phones. The new phones, which launch on October 12, highlight how artificial intelligence is becoming a more prevalent part of Pixel phones, from the Google Assistant to screening calls and editing photos. But those upgrades come at a higher cost than last year, with the Pixel 8 starting at US$699 and the Pixel 8 Pro beginning at US$999, that's $100 more than the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro. Consistent with previous Pixels, the camera is a big area of focus, macro mode arrives on the Pixel 8, while Google promises dramatically improved video capture on the Pixel 8 Pro with a feature called Video Boost, which processes clips in the cloud instead of on the device. Both phones will also have a new editing tool for changing facial expressions in group photos. Google is also drawing a bigger boundary between the regular Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro by giving its more expensive phone a temperature sensor for the first time. And perhaps most importantly, both phones will get 7 years of software updates, beating Apple and Google's claims by a wide margin. Taken together, these updates illustrate Google's effort to further distinguish itself from its partner and rival Samsung, which dominates the Android phone market. If these phones live up to Google's claim, it may succeed in doing just that. The camera on both phones are also getting upgrades in other areas as well, keeping with the photography-centric theme behind Google's Pixel phones in recent years. The Pixel 8 has a 50MP main camera similar to last year's Pixel 7 and a 12MP ultrawide camera. But the main camera sensor on both devices is more light sensitive according to Google and there's also a new macro mode on the Pixel 8 for getting better close-up shots. That feature was exclusive to the Pixel 7 Pro last year. Google saved its more dramatic camera upgrades for the Pixel 8 Pro, which has a 48 megapixel ultrawide camera compared with the 7 Pro's 12 megapixel ultrawide camera. But one of the Pixel 8 Pro's most interesting new capabilities won't be available at launch. Video Boost, which arrives in the coming months, gives you the option to have the video processed in the cloud rather than on the device itself. This means Google can put the footage through a more demanding processing pipeline since it isn't restricted to the phone's processing power. Based on Google's demo footage, it looks like this could be particularly useful for improving quality in dimly lit environments. Google's Pixel 8 Pro is also the first Pixel phone with a temperature sensor. Google is positioning this as being useful for scenarios like seeing how hot a cup of coffee is before taking a sip or measuring the temperature of the pavement before walking your dog. I have never had the urge to do either of those things and I don't know if the Pixel 8 Pro will change my mind. But it does seem to work well, at least in Google's demo, the Pixel 8 Pro measured the temperature of a cup of tea and a glass of water almost instantly after I opened the phone's thermometer app and hovered it over the mug. The app has a few preset options for measuring different materials like beverages, plastic, metal, rubber, and food. Google has also submitted for US Food and Drug Administration to approval so that the sensor could be used to measure body temperature, essentially turning the phone into a contactless thermometer. And of course, you would be able to save those readings to the Fitbit app. Google isn't the first company to put a temperature sensor in a smartphone. Remember the Samsung Galaxy S4 from 10 years ago? That phone had a sensor for detecting temperature and humidity in your surroundings, although it never became a core part of the smartphone experience. I don't know whether the Pixel 8 Pro's temperature sensor will be useful or just a gimmick, but it's yet another example of how phones are continuing to replace everyday objects like keys and wallets.